let's get this party started. Battery on. Fuel pump. The loudest fuel pump on the planet. Oh, that's cool. The fuel pump sounds different when you actually have fuel. How come my mixer's not working? Let's go joystick. And this is mixture. Okay, full mixture. All right, let's tune to well, let's let's connect to Pallet Edge. Pallet Edge connect. We are November five seven two. Papa whiskey. Connected to Pilot Edge. And we're going direct to. Did I say page? I think I said page. Yeah, PGA. So, KPGA. There we go. And then I also. Let's come up here. Let's close that out. Flight. New flight, manual input, standard, KGCN, KPGA, create. It is a strange looking Zeebo, yep. <laughs> Exclamation title, Piper Warrior. Have a strange buzz on. Okay, alternator on. Set set altimeter three zero two two. Altimeter three zero two two. Okay, uh ATIS is one two four point three. Set com one one two four point three. Set com one Set COM1 124.30. COM1 set to 124.3. Grand. ATIS information November 1654 Zulu. Wind 210 at 16, gust 24. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 25. Dew point 1. Altimeter 3022. Arriving and departing runway 21. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information November. Grand Canyon National PRK Airport, ATIS information November. 1654 Zulu. Wind 210 at 16, gust 24. Visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 25. Dew point 1. Altimeter 3022. Arriving and departing runway 21. Let's see if we can do this correctly. Um, Our altitude here is 66. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, they do sound very realistic for sure. And we're here at Grand Canyon. Contact, so I'll let that guy check in. Go to Navigraph Charts. Geo referencing. Runway 22 Geo Papa, SoCal approach, LA altimeter 299 or 4, expect visit approach, runway 25 left. Runway 2 Geo Papa, flighting 070. All right, so I don't want any flight following. I'll just take, I'll just VFR depart. Grand Canyon ground, November 572, Papa Whiskey. We're at the GA hangars. Request a taxi, and we have information November negative flight following. Five seven two Papa Whiskey King Grand Runway two one taxi via Papa Bravo. Two one via Papa Bravo five seven two Papa Whiskey. Our four one three one Quebec uh, leaving a uh, correction. Our four one uh, three nine Quebec leaving Bravo airspace. Uh, cancel two restriction resume navigation. I got this interesting sound in here. I can't figure out what it is. Let's see, audio. Oh, there we go. That's better. I wonder if it's the gyros or something. You are now logged on. Is it? Oh, yeah, FedEx. Yeah, FedEx ATR. And a citation. Let's see, I want to go to Bravo. 2 you Papa, turn left heading 260, join runway 25 left localized. There is to maintain 3000. Okay, tower is on one nineteen zero. Full mixture. Grand okay, Canyon Tower, five, November five seven two, Papa Whiskey, short two one, and Bravo. 572 Papa Whiskey King and Tower, only 21 clear for takeoff. Wind 210 at 16 gust 24. 21 clear for takeoff, Piper 572 Papa Whiskey. Cessna 2 Juliet Papa, as you roll out on the localized airport, 12 o'clock, 1 3 miles, port inside. Yeah. Papa Clippers approach from only two five left. Oh, 
Hopefully. Whew. Enjoy your flight. Long live snack here, Booyah. Uh, no propeller in this one. Oh, but I got the manifest JSON all jacked up in this one. Look. The elevator won't. Elevator's not correct. It's very hot out here. Chino ground number 535 extra golf IFR to Apple Valley. I can turn off, I think. What's that click? Fuel Air pump Project off. Project, Chino Fuel ground, clear to Apple off. Valley Airport on departure, flighting 250. Uh, radar vectors paradise as filed. Maintain 3,000. Correction, maintain 4,000. Expect 9,000 ones are minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.4, squawk 4217. Path 35 extra golf cleared to Apple Valley, uh, heading 250, better vectors to Paradise, and it's filed 4,000, expect 9,010, departure 135.4, squawk 4217. This uh, warrior is super slow when it's fully loaded. Heading flighting 260 on departure. Okay, 260 on departure, 535 out, extra golf. Very windy and very slow because we're fully loaded. That would be kind of scary, actually, in this plane to be that loaded with that much fuel and that many passengers. All right, we'll try an autopilot, and I'm just going to hit uh, heading. Uh, are you, I think I might be above max takeoff weight, yeah. But we also have 20 knot winds. Justin, 122, you pop a contact, LA Tower, 120.95, see ya. Yeah, our winds right now are uh, 20 knots coming from 222, so it's a crosswind, 22 knot crosswind. Los Angeles Tower will get a strike one to two Julia Papa, we shall left for a two five left. It's got one to two Julia Papa, Los Angeles Tower, only two five left, clear to land, wind uh, variable at three. Clear to land, runway two five left, uh, one to two Julia Papa. Chino ground, five three five x ray golf, information echo at the northwest, tram pretty to taxi. Airport 35 X-ray Golf, Chino Ground, runway 26 right taxi via Alpha Papa, cross runway 21 at Alpha. 26 right Alpha Papa, cross 26 right at uh, Alpha, 535 X-ray Golf. 5 X-ray Golf, you'll be crossing runway 21 at Alpha. Cross runway 21, that makes more sense, 535 X-ray Golf. FSC. Four one three nine Quebec contact SoCal approach one one nine point six. You have a love hate relationship with the plane. Well, the thing is, is I think that bobbling around. I mean, I, obviously, we're only going one hundred and eight ground speed, eighty indicated. Um, that's very slow, right? But I think the bobbling around could be that uh, we're four heavy. Four Quebec SoCal approach uh, Limburg altimeter two nine seven uh, two nine nine seven. But it also could be that we got that crosswind. I don't know. We've got 64 miles to go. But there is no... I, I know in the, in the Piper Arrow, 
there's a way you can there's a hidden click spot for altitude hold does this have one as well what's this button here yeah it's it's it is really slow I'm gonna kind of try to level off here a little bit what's this button here do you think that's altitude hold or no When the aircraft is overweight and at a crosswind, yeah. You think that's electric trim? It's five degrees up. Try trying to hold altitude yeah yeah on the arrow it, you can click a hidden click spot and boom it just holds the altitude love it Part of the problem, too, is I need to lean a little bit more. That's happier now. Uh, I don't recall which this one is. I, I, th My old J-Snap Ortho looked better than this, though. This one, I think the curve tolerance is a bit off. Yeah, I think I'm going to redo this area, but I don't know, you know, what source. All right, 59 miles to go, 108 ground speed. Oh, thank you. Some lunch. Yeah, seventeen sixty nine. Looks pretty good. United seventeen sixty. United seventeen sixty nine. Looks like you changed your your squawk code on me there. I lost you. I thought you got disconnected. Verify squawk three five five six, please. Yep, some rice and beans. Mexican rice, cheese, spice, beans. Yeah, seventeen sixty nine. Thank you. Um, Santa maintain nine or thousand. Santa Barbara altimeter two nine or nine or four. Yeah, seventeen sixty nine, Roger. Yeah, 1769 contact, Los Angeles Center 135. <laughs> Los Angeles Center Roger, Center Barbara Altimeter 413 You activate alt hold if you press the hidden click spot just above the AP. Yeah, that's on the Piper Warrior, but not this plane, right? Unless this does have a... Uh, 
and uh, proceed inbound via Mission Bay. Uh, show instrument click regions. Yeah, the white button is a, apparently electric trim. I just took it out. Plane still has vertical speed. Chino Tower, number 535, X ray Golf holding. Turn it on. Starts to come down. X ray Golf, Chino Tower, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 26 right, 535, X ray Golf. At 1769, contact Santa Barbara approach, 120.55. Oh, on the AP panel. Yeah, there's no clickable spot on the AP panel, but maybe, th oh, that one right there. Ooh, let's hope that's it. That'd be cool. All right, 9600. I just clicked. Got it, 1769. Ooh, I think that was it, Arthur. We got a sub crab. I think that was it. I think that was it. 26 months. Woohoo. Sim dude, thank you for the subscribe. 26 months of support. Hope you're well, John. That was it. Arthur, you get some points for that. We got a subscribe. Yeah, very cool. Number 845 Mike Echo. We're on the waypoint, Cafe, ready to taxi. We have a station Sierra. I'm like, Mark Alpha. Number 845 Mike Echo, runway 26, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. 26 via Foxtrot Alpha, waypoint 5 Echo. 45 X Ray Golf, contact departure. Departure 5 X Ray Golf. Also, got a departure radar contact, climb and maintain 900,000. There are five X-ray golf, turn left, direct paradise. Tower Life Flight 1, information mic, uh, Bell UH-1, east departure, present position. Yeah, the elevator is a, is a, I forgot to change Life a, a one, file. Roger. Before you proceed, sir, you'll need to email uh -oh. ops uh -oh. at pilotedge.net and inquire about your call sign, because you can't, you're not going to be able to use that all the time. Okay, I can do that. Life Flight 1, Roger, and uh, you want to depart from your present position? Yeah, I can do that. Now, what's the issue? Does it need to be changed something else? Yeah, it's it's an issue of one how it displays on our scope, and one we just need to we need to find out because if, uh, for instance, if you tried to fly IFR with that right now, I I don't know if you intend to. I couldn't let you, but there's certain rules regarding call signs like that, and uh, you just have to check with ops before you use them. Yeah, I, I'll do that. Uh, I'll change it to something else if you need me to. That's yeah, just a, a local uh, 135 up here. I, I can uh, change it for you. No, you can use it. What I need to find out, though, is the format that you use when you log in. Uh, 
I'm, I'm sure that life flight is a thing. It's more of uh, how we proceed about using it. Okay, yeah, I'll double check. Just just do me a favor when you're done, email. The manifest uh, JSON, gust one to zero. Uh, and then they'll, they'll get back to you with like what the proper procedure for logging in and all that is. It's fairly common. We have some people in Phoenix that do it. Um, and they have a local call sign there, but it's just got to be coordinated because we need to know what it is. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. No worries. Okay, just and like when you said you're ready to depart from the present position. Or Life Flight One, Roger, departure from the ramp at your own risk. The uh, altimeter two nine or eight nine or wind two one zero one four. Manifest okay, JSON. Position, on risk, Life Flight One. Can I edit this while flying? Three nine or Quebec, contact Lindbergh Tower one one eight point three. Gust. Gust lock from one to zero. Zero. Save. So, supposedly, when I, the next time I load the aircraft, the elevator is going to be fixed. I hope. And this. Denver Tower. Good afternoon, Pilatus Four One Three Nine Quebec, coming up on Mission Bay uh, inbound for landing with Zulu. Four One Three Nine Quebec, Lindbergh Tower. Make right traffic runway two seven for one. The file is called uh, that. Right you just change it. Like that. And at seventeen sixty nine, descend and maintain four thousand. Airport three o'clock and six miles. Report in sight. At seventeen sixty nine, Craig Rizzo approach runway seven. Okay, we got uh, forty to go. That's kind of a cool looking shot. We're 845 Mike Alpha, Camarillo Channel, runway 26, group for takeoff. Screenshot. What are we in? We're in the must uh, PA right there. There we go. Yeah, that looks good right down there. Scoop some water out of the river. Yeah. I want to fly a Super Cub through there. Kind of like a uh, Red Bull air race. the uh, tower what if we can pick up Bryce Canyon on 336 So we're going to Page. I think Page is right on the it's right on the uh, edge of Lake Powell, I believe. Or near Lake Powell. Right where I spent my first honeymoon.
33 to go. Arthur's got to take off now. A client just called and needs an aircraft to get, p to get places. There you go. Enjoy the life, the King Air 350 life. We also look forward to you flying for Snack Air. It looks like T minus thir 13 days or so. Nope, not picking up anything on 33.6. Well, that, that was ZLA, so maybe we will pick up someone because 33.6 is technically in Salt Lake City airspace, so... Salt Lake City Center, Piper no, 572 Papo Whiskey, how copy? Aircraft calling Salt Lake City Center, say call sign only. November 572 Papo Whiskey, uh, just, we're doing a radio check is all. November 572 Papo Whiskey, Salt Lake Center, loud and clear. Thank you. I could get traffic advisories, but I don't see any traffic. I very rarely call out for a radio check, but I was curious if that was the correct frequency for the Page, Arizona area. Coming up Marble Canyon Airport. I've flown to an FSC and a Twin Otter and the runway is about 20 feet wide. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. I see Marble Canyon just up here on the uh, left. What is the, the... Oh, there's a special flight rules area around here. Southwest 2332, Albuquerque clearance. Go to the Phoenix Airport. Adios, three departure, Zuni transition. Then that's filed. Hmm. Climb via the SID. Squawk 3303. So the 2332 readback is correct. How are you today? Sounds perfect. I wonder if it would be kosher just to call up and ask if there were any targets in the vicinity of the Page Municipal Airport, even though you're not under flight following or traffic advisories or an IFR flight plan. Could I just call center up and say, hey, I'm, I'm 20 miles to the southwest. Any targets in the vicinity of Page Municipal? I wonder if that would be kosher or if you should just call in and, 
and officially request traffic advisories. Hmm. Especially when the when the bit traffic the 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 frequency is not that busy. I don't know. Roger, have a good day. Yeah, if 20 miles out, I won't bother getting flight following, but I think you're right. Probably should, in that case, get to, well, not flight following. I would just get traffic advisories. You know what? I wonder if I'm on auto switch of tanks. I am. Okay, good. Oh, good. How are you? Oh. Do you want to see this book? This has my flight plan. You like the lights there? Yeah. You want to read the read the flight plan? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to give the flight plan back? Yeah. It's my scratch pad. Yeah. Are you getting down? November one three nine nine error. Yeah, my time over on two seven good for takeoff. Here. No, just halfway done. JT Kerr says hello, fly girl. Sixteen to go. Oh. I'll start down here in just a moment. So the twenty three thirty two Alpha Creaky Ground push on to Charlie approved. Hey, uh, any chance for a hold on the dragging of the furniture across the floor? <laughs> it's really loud. I don't know if the microphone picks it up or not, but... Uh, got a neighbor kid over, so two three-year-olds upstairs just... I was not dragging a furniture. That was your son dumping out all of the Play-Doh pieces on the table. Oh, I think he was dragging the chair before that because it sounded like a rhinoceros. They heard it. <laughs> do you do you have any words of wisdom for the stream? Thank you. All right, 12 miles out. 399 contact of Shinnick departure. Have a good day. You thought that was your house? There's the field right there. 
right near the lake. Don't truck with a full bottle of whiskey. <laughs> November 1, 3, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, contact out of 4,300, please see direct to click attack. Climb and maintain 1, 5,000. Yep, I would agree with that. Do you guys, this it, this is a very interesting special flight rules area. See this, this blue line here? Special flight rules area under 18,000. I wonder if it's like an environmental thing. And it looks like it's... I don't see it here. I don't see it here on the IFR low chart anyway. But it's definitely on the sectional. And I believe it's called... Special Flight Rules Area CFR 93 and SFAR 50.2. Special regulations apply to all aircraft operations below 18,000. Okay. Grand Canyon TAC. Mm, VFR only. Okay. Patterns at 53. When should we truck again next, Dogo? All the tourism flights and helis have to follow it. Oh, okay. Soon we need to do the hill, huh? Where did we leave off? I forgot where we left off. Was it Olympia? Or no, 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 no. We went back to Wenatchee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we went back. We went back to the Wenatchee. You too can go to Wenatchee. Flew over it in the uh, sim yesterday. You're off till Monday, so maybe some trucking soon. Soonish. I feel like driving from Wenatchee. Maybe, maybe soon, sooner than later. Yeah, because it's the holiday, right? All right, autopilot uh, coming off. Okay, we're gonna go full mixture for landing. Uh, maybe we'll lean just a little, just a tiny bit there. And I've never landed here before in the sim. It's called Grand Canyon Tour Ops. Ah, okay. Maybe we should do a day trucking adventure. Are you talking about today or tomorrow or on the holiday or... Wednesday. Yeah, went tomorrow is actually not a bad idea because the market is only open half day. It's a weird day for the market. Okay, flaps coming in. Actually, the the direction is three one nine. So we're actually. Can we land with a seven knot tailwind? Or should we do a downwind? I just don't know. These are the questions. Probably be okay with a seven knot. OK, 
Okay, flaps coming in. Had to add some power there because we're heavy still. Forty nine. It could be worse, right? Hot brakes. Why don't I use XP realistic? I don't know. Um uh, I don't know. Never tried it. Flaps zero. Flaps going up all the way. Landing lights. Uh, landing lights off. Landing lights off. Anti-collision light off. NAV2 course set to 104. Beacon off. Beacon lights off. There we go. Hello, you do, how you doing, Tyson? All right, let's go up here. What do you like about it, David? I think Captain K-Man uses it, doesn't he? And maybe Bish. Thank you for flying snack air. First person to say give it to me wins 300 snacks. Oh. Oh. 